Well, welcome back to part four of the Eastern on Taunt here. Um, was it, I think the, maybe it was the last part or the part before they did crack us at Belgrade and they have seized Belgrade. So we have fallen back. Now we just had a leader there separate without any troops. So I don't know what he's doing there. So I've got him falling back because of course we're going to be a little short on some leadership. So he can start commanding some troops here. Uh, everybody else is falling back and just digging in here. That was this niche. And we are on a depot there. There, so I can take a look at my guys here. Okay. See who has. Ah, you can take some more guys. So who are you gonna take? Found some decent guys. Order. Twenty-one. Seven percent over, that's not too bad. This guy falls back though. So I could raise some more militia here, probably, and I probably will. It'll only delay the inevitable, of course. I could do another infantry. I don't think we have the extra time, and I probably don't want to take the war supply. Right, we can just do the double militia right in the city there. We should have just enough. Leadership for these guys to be commanded well once, once he shows up. Actually, I think I can have them auto combine. So we will take the Serbian force, put it here so we can see it. There we go. And four three zero. Oh, got some bad stats. And, okay. Well, that'll be Serbia. Well, if the Austrians come, we're going to force them to fight across another river. Um, that worked very successfully for us the first time. We just kind of ran out of cohesion. They just kept slamming into us. And while we had some very good fights, very good kill-to-death ratios there, um, that ended up being it just because our guys could not, you know, in Hearts of Iron terms, reorganize in this game, you know, and get their cohesion back. Um, that's what we want. We're just sitting here. Where's our depot? There's a depot. There's another depot. Oh, Tarnopol's depot. Well then. Well, that's easy. Go to Tarnopol. Uh, you got 116. Combat strength, you got 69 combat strength. You can use a little cohesion back, so could you. So all you guys just... Just gonna turn up all. And these guys are way down on strength. They do have their cohesion. And this is what I want. I want the attack across here. We do have a few guys setting up here looking at me. Do you guys actually attack successfully? You probably could. This is hilly terrain. We got Brusilov's main force here. Over for a little bit 
little support there and you two guys you're fine and good to go not quite full cohesion but enough we've got some well, there's some experience but you guys haven't ranked up okay that's what I see um because hmm. I'm thinking we're gonna start the invasion here outright So we got two nice core here. We can seize the city, seize that city. He did fall back. We may have to keep one force there just to make sure if they start trying to come across, we can kick their rears. Um, well, actually, that'll be your job. You'll just... Stay there for now. Brusilov's main army. He is getting some ammunition through. That's good. Man. Yeah, he's got these nice artillery pieces. Basically running low on heavy ammo for him. And in fact, he's even got a third one. So Brusilov's got three medium artillery pieces, which by Russian standards is absolutely exceptional. But he's not going to have the artillery to run him. Okay. Take a look at my guys. How are they doing? Their cohesion's not the highest. You've got pretty good cohesion. So I'm trying to think. What if I take a few of these guys and splat them? Got this one under siege. I'm not sure I want you to be here. I mean, you're out of, running out of supplies. You do have some supplies. You do have an medium artillery piece, too, interesting enough. Now you just have some infantry. And, yeah, you're basically out of ammunition, too. And look at that surround. Look at that. Now we want to get the hell out of here. So I think what may have happened is when I was setting them to go here, I may have sent them on intercept to charge a unit. Because I didn't want them to come across the river. Because we saw before, you know, you take huge penalties for crossing the damn river. So that's not what we want. But we ended up taking those and there's... You can't go back and fix it kind of thing. So... Synchronize moving and get those guys out. This is going to be real bad. We got a real bad commander. And we're low on cohesion. And we're staring down that fat army right there. Yeah, so the combat power of our guys is just. It's just. It's bad. Okay, maybe you're coming in. So probably what I need to do is shift the 9th Army to come over here and pick up the left wing of this. And then Samsonov and the 2nd Army can, I guess, come here and worry about holding Warsaw. Powerful running conf here is going for it. Okay. Supply stocks. No. Nearly took out that Festung, but we didn't. Um, let's see how our guys are doing in the field. Let's see how their cohesion looks, see how their supplies are looking. It's probably going to tap into a little bit. Artillery stocks are actually okay, so the supplies are probably going to hit a little more. Cano's back there. Now, let's do Lotsen. 
Actually, Memel's the dam depot. Okay, so you're not even open. That's not good. Because you're the one with all the hot Finnish crack soldiers here that have some experience, too. Renekopf. Okay, so Renekopf could attack. He's passed his check. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Also no. I guess we just go on the defense for now until we hopefully can get the other guys to flip. Well, we did do a lot of damage to the Festung Lotsen. We obviously did not take it. Or it's like a troll. So you're not actually getting supply there. So whatever you get from the city. That is a small city. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to shift this army to come over here and help the flank. So the 9th army is going to come in with these cores. Then we're going to leave the 2nd army here under Samson, uh, Samsonov to defend Warsaw in this area. How are we doing on rail? Doing great on rail. Yes, there are three days. Okay, let's do it. Special fleet. Power is at 433. An extra 100 there. Okay, so we're only sending you with two cores. That should be okay. Raising some fresh divisions here. That are not ready yet. So basically, if I can drive them back to keep them on their side of the river, that is, of course, the goal. And yeah, I'm just worried this guy's going to get dogpiled by the 855 stack there. He's not activated. He's in enemy territory. Just like, oh god, that's just asking for it. It is just flat out asking for it. Um, man, I think I do have to take some cores and hit that guy. Or do I? Where's the closest depot if I have to fall back? Is it Dubno? It is Dubno. Oh, you got a depot. I wish I could see the strength of this guy, but I can't, which worries me, of course. Because I'd be going in blind if I want to attack him. Which I think might be a good idea. But... So you know officially what's there, you don't, and... Uh, you guys there. Yeah, this game becomes all about the railroads once you get out of the first few turns. I mean, you can really, really move things around. Lords. Okay, you're topped off. You definitely need, could use some extra troops, though, because your size is pretty small. Okay, which ones are the good ones? You're 307. Oh, yeah, basically, because you're like a... Those guys are just unstacked core. You can actually have your troops in there, and then, okay. Now 
what's the entrenchment level here? Okay. This is another thing too. I should be looking at what the maximum entrenchment level is because it goes up over time. Yeah, because we're sieging this fort and we're doing things. It's just not, it's not seeing the breach or anything like that, mainly because it's not an older fort. It's a brand new fort. Take a look, take a look. Which army? That's the other thing, too. These guys are going to railroad right in and smack me. Hey. I just hope these guys can get out. That's just going to be so bad otherwise. We're gonna take a. We're, I'm pretty sure we're gonna take a fat loss there next turn. Um, messages. Um, state funds. I need to start fishing for generals. I'm thinking about it. Yep, trying to get some new, better generals out there, as we can see a lot of the Russian generals. Not great. That's yeah, not great. So, okay, our tech for small arms is holding steady with the allies. Yeah, and our aircraft's holding steady, too, despite the fact we don't have that much. Just a bunch of recon aircraft. Let's take a look, see if there's any decisions for us. No. Any research? New. Nope. War production we really need. Russia, Siberia. Okay. Russia and Armenia. We'll worry about those later. Okay, Serbia. Lots of in reserve. We're good there. <laughs> So we'll let Brosilov just hang out here and keep restocking. One, keep restocking the ammunition here for heavy artillery because he's got probably the most heavy artillery of any of my armies right now. And then two, we'll let him you know, get the cohesion back, which is so important also. And three, what do we want to recruit? <sighs> medium artillery. I think we're going to need heavy artillery to breach that. I think we're going to be just stuck out here defending until we can breach this. Because once you can breach this, we can force them into the narrow mountain pass here. And yeah, no, that's not true because they got their other fort they're looking at. So that's not even quite true. We'd have to take out more forts. So what really would do that is heavy artillery. Oh, great. Your heavy artillery model is the same as your medium artillery model, which now begs the question. What the hell are, do you have here? You're a medium. You're a medium. Okay, you're medium. I don't think I have any me heavies here. What does it cost for heavy artillery? I think it's like 250. It is 250. Oh, it's Germany. I love spamming that out. It's, uh, these guys, I don't think I'll have the option, really. Okay, so thinking about it. Just create some normal troops. Get them over here as reserves, probably. Although, actually, I take that back. Look at my conscript situation. We're only at 210 conscripts in the bank. So I could recruit like five divisions, then I'd be stuck here. Um, 
So maybe we do go with the, the medium artillery. And then a conscripts. A group of conscripts. I think that's what we do. I'm going to send you to Brucey Love. Maybe. Or maybe have you go here. And maybe Samsonov. Or here. Let's Kiev. Hmm. Okay, so based on the manpower situation, I think it is smartest to recruit the medium artillery, even though it isn't the greatest. Um, and we're going to give you to Brusilov because you're, he's our best commander. We're going to focus there. Good stuff to our worst commanders. At least right now. Reserve division. So basically, the difference is a little cheaper. A few less conscripts by 10, but a little less combat power. Considering our combat power is already the weakest of these guys, I'm not going to be lessening it, lessening it anymore, though. Take a look. Do you need support units? Okay, you've got your full stack of support units. You've got a hospital, which is what matters. Your medium artillery. But you should have an engineer, is what I'm seeing. And I'm not seeing an engineer being made anywhere around here. Engineer. Nope. Okay, so we're going to make an engineer at Warsaw. Signals Brigade too. And that's IBD Signals Brigade. It doesn't cost that much. And it could raise a start raising some militia and stuff like that, but that's just going to burn a bunch of conscripts of which we don't have a bunch in their lower quality, obviously, because they are militia. Okay. Let me hang out there. You've got plenty of supply there. Just railroad you. Okay. Good on that. The question is, do I have some troops charge and try to dislodge this guy or just hang out here and stay on the defense? Because the army's not opened up. It would have to be two of the cores. Literally just two of the cores on their own. So I don't they fail their activation commands. By the book strategist. So you got these three guys under your command here. I guess should I shift you one? So then hopefully you're under his aura, shall we call it. So that worries me. The supply situation's not looking the greatest for some of these guys. We'll stay here for now, but I think next turn we're almost surely going to need to pull back to Kano because that's where the depot's at. So, any other things? Try a naval raid. Baltic fleet. Let's do it. Okay. Any other ships I'm supposed to be giving them? Nope. Nope. Nah, just a few subs there. 
Okay. Um, taking a look. Look for any other what units or stragglers get into the front line. Oh, that's a nice force, 24. going to reinforce is the real question. That's worrying. The supply situation like this guy say is that low. You've got open so I can just route you back there. Start to kill some supplies back. Also do that with the third army. Everybody else is looking okay ish. So for you. Okay, raising some divisions that are not ready yet. Okay, question is where do you guys go? Some Siberians, some, some decent quality troops. Do I have you keep going on the advance here? I think I do. Make it over there. Any other troops I need to be on the lookout for? How long are you guys locked for one more turn? The 18th Army. Okay, any other weird armies to be pulling in? Finland Reserve. Locked for three more turns, okay. Okay. Alright, time to fire it up and take a look at the next turn. Here we go. And I gotta get in the habit of hitting save before I hit the next turn. I gotta get back to that because this game has the potential to crash. So that was that was not good. Because of course it crashes after redo all these movements. Now that I've thought about, it, I know what moves I would redo, you know, so I could do it rather quickly, but so this will be interesting if he keeps advancing or not. Because we're of course gonna put the kibosh on that and try to drive him back here. I'm taking some guys away from Lemberg, may incentivize them to attack, I don't know. Next turn, I think for sure, Brusilov needs to attack here. Just to get him cut off. And we've already got the rail line severed here. So that's good. But they can rail to here and then hop over, take some time, hop over, take some time. Oh, I'll be interested to see how much longer Serbia can hold out. I mean, Serbia will probably maybe get to 1915. We'll see. We probably have maybe one or two more good defenses in it. But then based off the first, you know, what happened the first time, I think they'll just run out of cohesion, then they'll get swamped by the Austro-Hungarians. Oh, are you around running where? I thought it would. 
would have. Of course, they're crossing the infamous river. Yeah, rule on one of this game, don't cross the river. Okay, somebody came in and wanted to get smacked down, so we did. That's nice. No casualties at all. We got a pretty good trench system. Is what's going on there. So hopefully when those guys get their supplies from the depot, this turn, they'll stock up, then I can just ship all those, you know, three stacks right back, and then maybe shift out the other guys to go get supplies and kind of start a rotation. You know, just, but that way I keep the trend system always built up in that province. Okay. Well, can't tell if those guys are advancing or not. It's always weird how the AI kind of spreads out their stuff so much, considering, you know, you would think it would be all in little stacks. Okay, you're barely over. You're over just a tad. You will be over, but you're currently not. Nah, I can't even give you. And you were not over. So you will get the militia units. Okay. And it'll be slightly over. Okay. But overall, just taking a look here. We've got some strength in these stacks. 218, 320, 110. There's the big big daddy, uh Zabanovich with uh 489. And then a Putnik. It's actually our best commander here. With 526. And you're at 185 and growing. So, I mean, we've got, what, over a 1,000 on this real easy. I mean, those two guys are alone are a 1,000. That's another 200. It's called 1,200, 1,400, 1,500, about 1,600, 1,700 at the end of the day. So, should be no joke to take. And they are on a depot, so they will get reinforcements. So, it's that. Ah, it is snowing. Does that make sense? It's what, early December? Yeah. So, we've got the snow, which I think impacts attacks. Maybe hanging out on the depot by the city is your best bet. Yeah, actually, nah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not Hannibal, we're not crossing mountains in the snow, because that's gonna eat attrition like, uh, probably nobody's business. We'll switch you guys to the defensive here. Okay, those reinforces showed up. So who are we gonna give them to? Of course, we're gonna basically stack as much as we can with Bruce Love. Cause he's our guy here. And we're gonna give him the better units too. What are your stats? By the book, strategist, defiant. You seem delightful. You just 
have bad stats. Okay. Yeah. So we are 44. Doing account supply. I'm trying to think, was that 17 before or was that 14%? I don't actually remember. Does anyone need supply? No. Do you guys need supply? No. Okay. That's well, weird. He's just called a Russian army. Okay. You're going to be overstacked, and you're a 2 1 1. 3 2 1. Yeah. You got a cavalry stack. Okay. You're going there. Okay. Priscilla is looking pretty formidable here. Um. Pulling out, that's fine. Okay. So you did stock up. Your munition situation is still shit, though. Wait, you're here and you didn't stock up all the way. Hmm. Tell's that about. You neither. You guys are on the goddamn depot. You guys are all hanging okay in there. Oh, I'm such a goddamn dork. I've got two armies stacked up here. Okay, so fifth army. Fifth army is good to go. So really, there you can stick on defense. You're not. Ninth, eleventh, nope. Third army needs to keep its rear here. Fifth Army's ammunition sucks, though. So I think we just may need to save up and afford a heavy artillery piece just so we can crack that damn fort. Okay, because you need to stay there. Your supply is shit. You need to stay there. Your supply is shit. You're moving. Even though your ammunition's terrible. Okay, you can go back. Okay, and then you, your supply is also bad. Put you there to pick up some supply. Yeah, we'll run 
You're here, you're on a city. Make that little push right there, but it just that doesn't matter. Got nice stocks of everything for the winter. You're good. You, on the other hand, okay, you're okay. Your supply stocks worry me a little bit. I mean, Rockop should be restocking. I mean, Kalman should be shipping stuff. Um, do, 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 think. Okay, so we'll take a quick look. Here, how's construction going on the munitions factory? Still got a ways to go. And I wonder if the manual's wrong. The manual says it's supposed to be 15 ammo output. That clearly says 30. So either there's another modifier or something, or... The manual's wrong. So the problem is the manual comes out at game launch, but it normally it doesn't get updated. So we're still building those. Hopefully those munitions factors will be good to go in the summer here. In the meantime, I think I will just continue making medium artillery piece. Let's take a look at the overall situation here and see how the West is doing. So Central Power is up to 926 thousand casualties the west is at 576 i'm at 313 so the casualties are tracking pretty even between the factions central powers is barely above their morale is a little bit higher i'm at 102 they're at 101 west taunt's at 94 let's take a look i've wrecked the shit out of the rail line behind here in france it's old ross Maybe in supplement there, maybe they've pulled out, I don't know. But they are decently close to Paris on this front. And I think somebody even raided Paris. I don't know if they sent a cavalry unit over there or it was a big unit. And the Dunn also got raided on the outside. Okay. Because our whole plan is to basically go for the weak underbelly of Austria here, of course, as you can see me trying to flood in here. Um I don't think we'll win just by taking out Austria, but it's our objectives list. Budapest. Austria. Of course, Berlin's the big points. We need to keep pressure on Germany at some point, but if we can get Austria to crack, take them down, then we can go after the German armies a lot easier just because of the sheer number situation. Everyone's at 50% infantry. Okay. Could I do state funds if I want to? No. Did I do new generals last turn? We did. Where did my new generals pop in at my... Capital, I'm assuming? No, I don't see them there. On my top commander, new. Okay, here's a Minsk artillery piece. So Konigsberg would be fantastic to take, because that's their main defensive point. But then once we do that, we'll just be stuck along this river, then trying to go in there.
You know, two, two, zero. Oh, man. I just keep forgetting how bad all these Russian commanders are. One, two, zero. Shoot, sure, no, I will give you the Pavel Run Conf then. You're there, you're being trained. No. What the heck are we training all those infantry divisions? Okay, you're training, you still need time. You're training, you need time. If you're still locked, you're training. You're training. You're training. It's doing okay on conscripts. So I'm really wondering, do I save up for that heavy artillery piece? Because if I save up for the heavy artillery piece, that's going to be a lot. It's 250. But it will allow me to bombard the fort. Nope. That takes super heavy artillery. Hmm. Okay, so I can't even use that. Maybe I just stick with medium artillery for now. Try to even it out that way. Because basically I wanted the conscripts to kind of recover. I don't want to be flatlining on conscripts because as soon as we have a huge fight, I'm going to need to buy replacements and then suddenly it's going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, you don't have enough. Or not. So medium artillery. Yeah, medium artillery. Okay, and then let's do another infantry division somewhere. Close to the front lines. Honestly, I should probably be shipping stuff into here to keep this fight going. Oh. Yeah. So, we'll probably... Because we want, we want to get through the Carpathians. we got to get through the Carpathians. Did anything happen here? Nope, but you can see me, so I'm going to dodge back out. You know what? Stay in there. Let's have a fight. Let's see what happens. That might be a mistake, but I'll go for it. Do we need to print funds? No, we're looking pretty good. Could I even print funds if I wanted to? No. Change government. Oh, Lord. New generals, munitions factory, bomb fort. And, okay. It says we've called up new generals. Where the hell are they? Wait, did I, do I get the new generals now or do I have to wait some turns? Wait for it to end. You would think the capitals, the generals would pop up like in your capital. Well, they pop up in freaking Moscow, which is not the capital. St. Petersburg's the capital. But okay, let's see who we got. You're a staffer. Okay, that makes you worse. 322. Two. That's a good leader. 322. Two. Infiltration. Three one one, first artillery guy. Four three two. Okay. 
three one one, three two one. You know what? Actually, I shouldn't be stacking them all up like this. I should be spreading them out. Environment Commander. And then, yeah, frankly, let's just send a bunch of you to war. So the rest, let's just all send you here. Later. Okay. And. They'll be okay for now. They get to hang out here for now. Turn off synchronized movement. No reason to have it on. You guys are just holding there. Do I make a move or not? Current weather. The problem is I don't want to... Uh, we probably just wait. So I don't want to get hit like in a mountain pass in the snow here. You're on a good point. You can keep reorganizing you guys. Yeah. Take a look at needing to get reinforcements or replacements and that'll probably be the end of the turn here. Okay, you're okay. Russia... Okay, so he's got reserves, yep. Okay. Take a look at the time we've got. So let's save this. Then we're gonna advance another turn. Because once winter's over, Brasilov's charging straight through the damn Carpathians. And we'll see what kind of havoc he can do on the Hungarian planes. <laughs> so, because there's only one rail line coming out of here, so it should not be that hard to make sure the rail line stays intact. Okay. Obviously, that would he needs to get cleared out because we can't leave our left flank exposed like that. Hmm. Win for the AI. Luckily, he managed to get away. He only took that one loss, and it wasn't even much of a loss. So that's good. So we're going to back here. Probably beef up some of these armies. Because if we need to threaten Shemisil too, we can. And we've just not been lucky in scoring any breaches on this damn position. So we're just having to continue to deal with that. We could breach it. We could, of course, you know, then stack everybody up and storm it just like we did to churn up bits there. But that is not possible yet. I'm trying to remember who gets the better small arms and you know better helmets and uniforms. I 
think it might be the French, because I think the French have a decision. It gives them a little bit of a tech boost there. I can't quite remember. Of course, I'm interested to see when I get it, because if I get it at the same time as the Central Powers, I don't think it'll make much of a difference, because it'll buff up my guys, sure, but if my guys are still the same, you know, Powers, the Austro-Hungarians, and... It may change their defensive stats, though, that I think about it. So it may up everyone's defense, and it may not up the offensive power very much. We'll see. I'll try to make sure I remember to take a look at that before I hit it. So I need to do probably a better job of having my pontificating while the end turns are going on here. Um... <laughs> That way it'll speed up my clicking time, and then I can pontificate away. Oh, here we go. During the end turns, or turn resolution. And so Serbia will last until 1915. That's for sure. That's nice. Oh, there's Conrad von Hotzendorf right there. So we're behind the river, but that we're just on an open plains. So, but we've been entrenching hard there. I'd be very curious to see what the trench level is. Because that's another thing I've not been checking. The trench level goes up over time. But I think the eastern front may have a different trench level maximum than the western front, if I remember correctly. We got some Austrians moving in. Can't tell how many, though. It's a problem when you've got, like, no recon. Oh, that was nice. Only took 4,500. We've got 300,000 men here. Conrad's. Uh, the Serbian normal troops are just better than the Austrians, yeah. Like the normal Austrian troops, what, 20 power? Yeah. Normal Serb infantry, well, those are militias. Yeah, it's 22, so. Okay, yeah, crossing the river, great. Trench effectiveness, 200%. That's probably our maximum. So we dinged them up there for about... Just under 20,000. Took only 4,500. So actually next turn I may count if they're going to hang out here. Not enough guys. I mean, you're... I mean, how are we doing on cohesion? We're looking really good. We got to take a little minor dings on cohesion. Um, you didn't activate. You activated. You activated. You also activated. You activated. You did not activate. Okay. But yeah, we're going to attack and try to sweep you off our territory and get you back across that damn river. So, that should be good. Basically, we can't recruit anything because Nice is our only big city left, and they're recruiting the militia still. Okay. Um. Okay, you're still here. Still is kind of looking at my movements. You're here. You did not activate. That's an issue. You've, of course, activated. Okay. 
And you're filled up on supplies, Third Army. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay, so all you guys have topped up your supplies. That's fantastic. Have you? No, you've not. You're sitting on the damn depot. There's no supply here. Well, okay. There is supply there. It's like 986 supply there. Why have you not topped it? Okay, you need to turn off synchronized movement. I don't know who the hell you're synchronized with. Building up there. Okay, you guys were not activated. You just need to relax here, get built back up. Supply situation's good, your ammunition situation's bad. Your ammunition situation's fantastic, so you'll probably be able to push in a bit. You know, once you actually, like, activate. Um, and activate's probably the wrong term. It's... Oh no, activate is the right term. Okay, so they seem to be pushing here. What's your entrenchment? You're going there. Entire second army is going here. You're going to take a bit more, but you'll go with the second army in a set. And when that's ready, building an artillery brigade. You need to wait. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on over here in this supply situation, because this is the one that kind of concerns me. We don't see too many enemies here. Hmm. The Renekonf is open. He's got supplies and artillery. Look at the rest of his guys. You're short on supplies. You're also short on supplies. Beyond that, everyone else is looking pretty good. So... The enemy seems to kind of disappeared. We make our we're gonna make a winner push here. Or we just hang out. I mean, we've got a good amount of munitions built up there. Let's check on the status of the Where are we building it? We're building at Lublin. Okay, so that munitions factory is now just about halfway built. And the other one is working on it still. Okay. You need to sit here and just relax as your organization is just th thrashed. By that, I definitely mean cohesion. It's organization, hearts of iron, so same basic concept. I don't need state funds. We actually have plenty of money, so I'm not interested in doing that because, it, one, it creates inflation, two, it costs us national morale to do it. Let's take a look at the enemy's national morale. Any options? No, no. Research is no. Uh, take a look, take a look, take a look, look, look. Objectives. Such powers there. Most of hot there. So we've actually got the most morale. They're about to, Central Power is about to be in the million dollar loss camp. Okay, they still have that, still have a Ross. See, this is weird because the rail line's not hooked up. There's just a little road coming from here. There's no rail. So, we need to take that to link it up or something.
So we've had a pretty good winter offense, uh, or a pretty good offensive here. We just gotta see where we're going next. And you know what? So, Rusilov, you're ready to go. Your buddy isn't. He's ready to go. We do see what happens. Eight days. Seven days. Sink ya. Yeah, we're good, just holding that. Ammunition's bad. Every other part of you is good, though. How are you guys actually on the point? Some of your supplies have been shaky. Not bad, but a little shaky. So I think we'll just rotate in. guys. And you. You're in a little bad shape, so you can stay there and wait. Fifth Army looking good. I mean, he actually has ammunition, which is important part. Okay, you're a little shaky. So you're gonna go the other way. 81% is fine. 86. 100, 100. Okay. So that one's look looks at bats. We're gonna rotate in people, good supply, rotate out the people, the bat supply. Makes sense. Keep them there. Everybody else just rest and reorganize. reorganize. Okay. Infantry divisions, oh, some of them are gonna be good to go. You're still raising. You're good. Do we go with Rusilov? Do we further reinforce this? Because I feel like they... Hmm. That is the question. So let's look at some of the commanders here. Rusilov himself can't take anything more. You're looking decently filled. You're just a bad commander. Do I want you to have more? 211-230. You're a multinational. You should be getting fins or Texas and Elan. Interesting. Short answer is no, I don't think you're going to go there. You don't need to go there. Which is where do you need to go? 211, man. Okay. Fifth Army. You're not terrible. So I'll just put you, what? Over here so I can see you. And same thing. Well, we're in there. Um, any other ones coming online? You are. Basically, we're just going to stack up the army for now, and if we want certain cores to have them, we can look at that in a little bit. We just kind of want to get them in there, though. Okay. You're good. You're still being raised. Excuse Ukraine is still being raised. Um, 60% small arms. Western powers are a little bit behind. Central powers. 60% air. Okay. I think we just make the move. Another medium artillery. Our 
best troops are Siberians. Now, do you cost anything extra? You cost 70 money. Everybody costs 70 money, so that's not an issue. 48 conscripts, 10 war supply, take 60 days. Okay, same thing. So we should be getting some Siberians. Yeah, let's go get some Siberian. Oh, I don't even have the war supply for that. Well, so much for that plan. Okay, any of these interesting? Central powers is accept Ottomans into their alliance. Okay, and Western. Okay, so hold on right there. Because, uh, yeah. We'll take a look here. Because now these guys are all active. Good thing I was checking the notifications. Jeez. You guys are in Kazakhstan. Or an Armenian. Afghanistan, Persia. Can you rail? So Yerevan force, this is Armenia. At least Russian Armenia. So the question is, do I route my commander over here to see if I can create an army? go over the winter, I think we can get away with it. Hopefully create an army here, and then send them away. Um, I can't see how much is over there, but let's send that air and unit. Stay on the city for now. Everybody just stays on defense for now. It's probably the smartest thing till I can figure out what's going on. You're at Baku. Some Armenians. Okay. Yeah, good thing I checked those messages because otherwise I would not have noticed. Black Sea Fleet, anything? Well, Aviation Battalions don't tell me anything. If they can't get at me through there, could they get at me through some naval invasion? Maybe. We do have mines. Could come straight at Sevastopol, but I doubt it. Okay, so that'll probably be okay. Okay. Any other messages I need to take a look at? Oh, you know what? This video went for a real long time. I need to cut it here. See you in the next one.